Once we have our data into our BuddyBase application, it's time to start designing the experience for our users. BuddyBase applications are single page applications. They're defined by screens that are built up with components. They're informed by data. We navigate with the URLs and we design each screen for a specific function for our users. So let's jump into the design tab now. When we first arrive at the design tab, an initial screen is created for us. This is the home screen and it's blank. It has the navigation at the top, which has the name of our application, the logo. It has space to be able to navigate and it has a link to this home page. We can always preview our application with this preview button up here, which will open up our application and we'll see that the URL ends in forward slash home. It's got exactly what we expected to do. And we can also view it as someone with different authentication levels. We want to see what is and isn't available for different users on a given screen. We can add as many screens as makes sense for our application. We get to screens, this icon on the left, for now, I'm going to auto-generate a screen. I'm going to click on Add Screen, and I've got two options. I can create a blank screen, which we have already on our home page, or a list view. This is going to allow us to have CRUD functionality, create, read, update, and delete for some table inside of our application. Let's click on that now and press Continue. We now have a list of all the data sources that BuddyBase knows about so far. And we're now going to choose appointments and click confirm. After that, we choose the access level. By default, this is basic, which requires our users to have logged in. But we can also have power and admin, these elevated access levels, if we want to make some screens only available to some users. We can also set it to public, which doesn't require any authentication at all. I'll leave it at basic and click done. We see now I have an appointments URL on the left hand side. And if I go to my application, I've got an appointments tab up here and here is everything that's available. So we said that there should be CRUD functionality, the ability to create, read, update and delete. So I'll create a row with this button and we get this pop out over here. Pet ID, appointment date, description and pets. We have this table showing all of the data which we can see and click on any row and we get a popover showing the data for our particular field. We can also update inside of here. This is paginated so we can paginate between our records. By default, it has eight records on the page. And at the moment we can't delete. Now there are a few things we want to do to make this really useful. I'm going to click on this table component. I get a whole load of information to configure it along the right hand side. You can see it's a table block, which is a special component, which is sourcing data. And we can add these blocks ourselves later on. And it has this name and title. I'm going to change the title, first of all, just to capitalize the first letter. Now I can configure the columns. As I look at this, I don't really want the pet ID. I want the other columns though. So I'll click on configure columns. So I'll add all the columns and I'll remove the pet ID. Now this just removes the display of the pet ID, not the actual data. And I'll look at these columns and think about renaming them. I'll change this to be date. And again, this is the label and not the actual data type. And I'll change the description to capitalize it and the pet. I'll save that and my table will be updated. Scrolling further down, I'm going to have a look at the side details panel. This is the one that pops over so that we're able to create and read and update our individual records. I'll click on configure fields and do the same thing. And I'll remove the pet ID, change the field names, that's ready to go. And lastly, you'll see that this has a show delete checkbox. And by checking that, we get our full CRUD functionality for our application. So let's go and see that in our app now. We're at forward slash appointments. We can see the date, the description, the pets. I can click on a field and I can change the description from checkup to dental and save. So that's been changed to dental now. I can delete a given record but he's not going to have his checkup now. Or I can create a new row with the date, the description, and I can select one of the pets that already exist in my database. With the auto-generated screen, we had full CRUD functionality. And if that's what we want from our data, that's all we need. We can use these auto-generated screens as a starting point, or we can build up from scratch. 
and create our application in whatever style we would like. Screens, add screen, a blank screen, or adding a new list view, this auto-generated screen for a particular table. We'd have multiple screens for the same table if we wanted to see it in a slightly different way. Otherwise, you can use these screens with these components to make apps that are useful in the office or the shop floor.